This video will review the Dance Plan Health Zone score, which you can find in the upper left hand corner of your dashboard. So, at a high level, what is this score? It is meant to help you focus on key aspects of lifestyle, and like a dashboard of a car that keeps you focused on you know, the gas level, oil level, and your speed to make sure that the car runs well and then you're not getting speeding tickets, this is what this Health Zone score does for you as well. It keeps you mindful of things that matter on a day-by-day -day basis for your lifestyle. Okay, so what you can see here is it's out of 100 points. You get a third credit from weight, activity, and sleep. So these are the three things that summate to equal your score. Now, if you're not tracking weight or you're not tracking sleep, the health zone score will be comprised only of what you track, right? So if you just track, for example, steps in your activity score and nothing else, your health zone score will be made up of just steps, okay? But a full score will have information in the weight category, the activity category, and the sleep category, and that's ideal. Okay, so for weight, you can measure weight in two different ways. Um, if you are trying to sustain your current weight, then you use the weight maintenance chart like I have here and your score is, you, your, the percentage of your score is based off of how well you are relative to the weight that you want to stay at. All right, for the weight loss chart, it's how well you're on track for your weight loss goal. For activity, um, and by the way, I'll just say that, show this here too, that these top bars actually turn different colors based off of your performance. So I'm in, as you can see, in the green zone here, and so I have a green uh, score on my weight score. The activity score is made up of steps and exercise. So you get 50% credit from steps and 50% credit uh, from your exercise goal. And those two combined to equal your activity score. All right. And again, if you're only tracking steps or only tracking exercise, your activity score will just be made up of what you track, and then that will contribute to, again, your health zone score. Okay, so here you can see that my exercise score is fallen below um, a threshold where I'm now in the orange or the red zone. And I haven't entered my exercise for the day, but I actually just did a 30-minute um, session on my spinning bike and 20 of those minutes were moderate intensity and 10 were more strenuous intensity. So I'm gonna enter that now. And you can see the score then change. And I actually did another set of kettlebells. So I did another uh, 10 sets after a few warm-up sets. So those were 10 sets of aggressive and uh, two more sets of warm-up. I'm gonna add those here and my score changes. And you'll notice that my score went from red to yellow into, into green. You'll also notice that these bars below, the dotted ones which represent exercise, went from a pale gray to a paler green. All right, so they're indicative that I'm now, now, I'm now within my target zone for exercise. For sleep, your sleep score is made up of bedtime or the time that you get into bed at night and time in bed, which is the duration of time that you spend in bed over the night. And I have a separate video on sleep score which talks about the different components and why they're important. So each of these make up your health zone score and so the goal is to try to help you live a healthy lifestyle on a day-by-day -day basis and to do that you want to be mindful of certain things that we call the mundane but meaningful, things that are easy to overlook but important to track because when you do then you stay present about how you're living. And so the idea is you want to keep your score around 100%. It's a great way to get feedback on your lifestyle, which then helps you do the right things consistently so that you stay healthy and performing well.